you will awaken and we'll bring love back to this land again I promise you this morning it's October the 21st 2012 and I don't see a chemtrail in the air so far I'm suffering from something that was dropped on my house I believe it is a mini gas bomb that they're dropping from private aircraft and this happened three days after I wrote our governor governor of Louisiana letter even wrote the sheriff a letter not one response except I get poisoned I'm suffering right now permanent damage of my lungs and Obama has an executive order if you have a respiratory illness he can d definitely detain you so what they're trying to do is damage your lungs to think that oops he might have Ebola and everybody f feels fear and the fear separates you from the truth again and then you scream crucify him to the truth again just like you did in the days of Jesus and yes it was you the people that are not aware of truth I'm talking to you you are the group that crucified Jesus in the past and now you're doing it again what do you think God has in this? You think, you think Jesus is going to... Look at this. Two. Guys, these are, these are military. These are planes from Israel buzzing directly over my home. I'm telling you. We're in World War III. And there's no telling what they dropped out of the air. And also, they might be carrying these remote-controlled vehicles. And you notice he had a wingman. You know what a wingman means? We're at war, people. World War III, chemtrails, and they're attacking the people of truth right now. And the reason why they flew by is because there's a trailer right there that's surveillancing me. Look at the position of this trailer. Look at the position of this trail. Well, there's the guy's backyard. Right? His driveway is beyond the trees. See that green building right there? It's beyond the tree line. And he's got it parked to where he can see perfectly in my backyard. And this is where I do most of my filming, behind the barn. <laughs> 